Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tom with the Renegade Racing Channel. Today we're working on a Caterpillar 3126. Um, it's uh, kind of a variation of a C7, but it's the older version. Um, so all of these are relatively the same. Um, there's no, uh, we're, we're moving an injector today. Number four was down. So I'm gonna give you a DIY on this on how to do it. Um, it had a code in it. Um, and then it was also, um, Whenever I would hook Cat ET up to it and do, and remove this injector and shut it off, it, you know it wasn't it wasn't popping or missing or anything like that. I mean it was missing in general already, but uh, I mean there was no change, is what I'm looking for. So went ahead. I've already removed it, but I'm going to show you what I've done. I'm getting ready to put the new one in and, and just got some key points that I want to touch on to make sure you do the job right. First and foremost, remove your valve covers. 10 millimeter bolts to take it off. There's a couple of hoses for the breather system. Go ahead and remove those, set your valve cover to the side. There is no rocker arms or, uh, or push rods or anything that you gotta remove in order to remove the injector. It's got two um, um, bolts that hold the injector in. Um, so once you go ahead and remove those two bolts, the injector pulls right out. Um, those are the injector hold down bolts are a Allen head. So you'll need an Allen head in order to get those out and just disconnect the harness on it. But if you look, I went ahead and removed it. Here's your two hold down bolts and a hose clamp. Um, if you look down in there into that hole, you'll see that it's full of uh, fuel. This is the thing that I want to really touch on. All right, you need to get that fuel out of there. This is not a common rail engine. All right, so there's no uh, injector lines or anything that goes through it. The fuel actually flows through the head. So this is a Huey pump system. If you put that injector back in there, this is gonna hydrolock the engine and it will not start. So you'll end up breaking something or you know trying to start this thing. So what I, I, I've got is I got a little sucker system that I made that I can hook up to air and then shop air and then hold it and it'll suck all the the fuel out of it. So you wanna make sure and, and move your tube around there. I can also use like just some regular um, hose and stick down in there and suck on it until it starts flowing and get it all out. But you wanna move it around in there and make sure you got it all clean of the fuel. Um, stick your injector back in there, um, put the valve cover back on, make sure everything's secure. Um, and then you should be good to go. Uh, these injectors come with a CD um, to put the injector code in there. So uh, that way it's firing right, et cetera, but it will run without it. You just won't get proper fuel efficiency. So wanna make sure you do that, have the correct software to do it, but very, very easy job to do. Um, just make sure you get that fuel out of the, out of the cylinder. Um, make sure you subscribe, like our channel, continue to watch for more updates.